We gotta um gonna redo this one here in the same colors. This one that my wife dropped something in. I don't know what, but some guy dropped in it and it left a big divot in it after I got it all done. So let me get my gloves on here. A flight glove, insert hand. Okay, how we doing today? Hope everybody's doing good. Hope you're gonna enjoy this. What I did is I did another split cup. Half gold, half black. And we're gonna see if, the only thing is they didn't mix it good. I know if the gold took over. Yeah. It was a split cup. You can see it started out, but then the gold started taking over, so. Let's see what we get. Let me move that out of the way. Okay. Try to give you guys the best shot I can here of this. The goal is going to overpower, I think. I want my black to pour. No, the gold. Well, we're just going to see what happens. This has got to be a swivel, so. We're gonna start with a real low move till the black starts showing up. Oh, it's dripping out instead of running. Not getting, I'm getting like clumps out. I ain't getting an even flow here. Wow. This don't look like it's going to come out as good. For some reason these colors really did not want to mix. Or they actually mixed too good. Yeah. That ain't coming out good at all. They like globbing out. <sighs> it's been one of them days. Yeah. That ain't good. Basically all the black was up underneath. The only thing neat about that is the gold mixed in with the black and it gave it a really cool sparkle. I don't know, let's see what we get here. We'll spread her out and see what we got at the end. Looks like we got some cells popping up. about pulling it over this way a little bit. I'm going to keep some of that shape in here. Yeah. Okay, let's flip this around this way. Don't know what all this is. Some kind of like fish eye going on. It's not actually cells. Which I'm not real happy about. <coughs> so, let's see what we can do about dressing this up. I'm going to run some gold along here. We're going to do a drag. Oh, you know what? Uh, darn it. That, we could have done something too. Let's see. Give me a second here real quick. I apologize. Let me throw something together. We're going to see if we can do something a little different with that real quick here. A little good. A little black. It's a little different gold. There's my... Water. 
I really apologize, guys. Sorry. I, like I said, you never know. You can mix and mix and mix and mix, and you just, whatever you get, you get. You just really never know until you do it. Let's see what happens here, what we can do with this. Let's see what we can turn this into. Okay, I just all I did was mix a little black and a little gold up back up. Throw a little um, silicone in it. And let's see what we can come back with right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really loving that one, but we're going to do a little different thing to this. I'm going to do the black and gold stripes. And drag through it. And see what we get. Should have plenty of black on here. I really more want to get some gold in here. Add some down here, down here, kind of split up what I got. I mean, like I said, we got really cool metallic stuff going on there, which looked pretty cool. But yeah, I'm going to top this one with black up here. I want to pull the black over, I think. Black and a gold. I don't want it to be solid. I want to mix that up a little bit. Pull a little zebra striping here. You never know till you try. Like I said, everything's worth a try. Okay, now should we know use our handy dandy new tool? I don't know if it's flat enough. I'm hoping it is. Because these are a little bent and twisted. See this? I found this in the garage. It's independent little pins. And they're used for like uh, landscaping and stuff to write your plant names and stuff on. But when I seen them tips, I thought something cool could be made out of them, I'm sure. So, let's just do this. This one, for some reason, got a little muddy. I touched it a little too much, I think. Because that's pretty cool, had I not done that. Well, let's get a little run going on. See what we can do about shifting some of this. I'm not really liking that color down there, so let's pull that color off. That gold just not getting it. It's too light. Yeah, maybe we can push some of this off. Down here. I don't know guys. Still not really hip on it. Um, yeah. I sort of like them. Then again, I don't. So what else can we do with this? I mean, this sort of came out cool. Maybe we'll just do an actual drag. Um, let's see. What about we take one of these? And we just make it a complete drag. Let's 
see where we get out of that. Anything amazing comes back. I really like the black and gold together. Um, you get some really cool effects with them usually. But for some reason, these two paints, I don't know, this black is a little different than my other black. And I've noticed a little bit of a difference in this for some reason. It don't want to play well with the other colors. It just don't. In my last painting, the black just would not slide. And I've thinned this stuff out. It just, it's not really just applicable. I mean, it's acrylic paint. I don't even know what brand it is. Sergeant, I don't know, maybe that's a crappy brand. Well, we're going to see what we get out of this here. I'm going to try to get rid of that other little gold over there. That tan gold just, for some reason, don't go as well. I mean, it dries really nice. It gives a nice sparkle to your color. <coughs> oh, a bunch of black and gold squiggly lines. Yeah. Not what I planned. I think we're going to end up scraping that one and we're going to do it again. Let's see what we're going to do to repair this. Here's what I did. I took some red, some gold, and some black. And we mixed them in here. Since we got the gold and black already on there, we're going to use that as our base coat then. So we're going to do a little flip here. I did one black, gold, and red a long time ago, one of my first ones when I first started here doing these. And it came out awesome. But it was a small one. So let's see what this one here does. Let's see if I can get up underneath this without making too much mess. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let her sit for a second. Some of our colors are already starting to seep and run and yeah. This here is definitely going to be a good thing, I can tell. Um, I just got to learn to use it. Um, and I think that certain colors and certain things are going to be really cool. I think I'm going to be able to make some really neat stuff with this. I'm going to take it in and clean it up. I'm done about this. So yeah. We're going to use that in some later ones, for sure. Um, let's see, are we getting down there? These three colors also go together really good. The gold, the red, and the black. I don't know why, but they do. I'm not a big fan of red. Never was. That's why I'm not a Ohio State fan. I'm a Michigan fan. Blue is my color. No, red is not. Excuse me. Okay. Let's go for a little swirl ride. You know what? We're just gonna no, we're just gonna pop you in the middle. Let her flow. I'm just like my thing just a little uneven here. Let's keep you in the middle. Yeah. I really wish I had the guts to just let something sit and do its thing and not touch it. But sometimes you gotta let it just do its thing first. But I'm already liking that way better than the gold and black deal. So let's see if this makes up. Let's see if we can pull up out of here. Very gently. We're going to just fold the expander. I'd love to keep that thing in the middle. That's just awesome. And the dots. I'm going to run into that corner once. Trying to do it slowly. Not pulling too much. See, I had the red and gold in there, so we can always leave that as a background edge and edges. But as you see, it's clumping up really heavy right there. That stuff just does not want to slide around. Other paint. Okay. 
trying to do is just mix the two together here a little bit. As you see, the gold and them are mixing quite well. I really want to keep that black spot. Here we can slowly get some of that down there. I want to run some of this off over here. I just don't understand why that, I mean, I got a puddle of paint right there. I just won't move. Guess we're just going to have to force it a little bit. See if we can get you back towards the middle here. I'd get this corner cleaned up down here a little bit. Come on. I just get this corner to run over here. It'd be nice. There we go. If you guys can see it. Really trying to keep that gold and black stripe there. It goes really good with the rest of it. Now we're just going to let her sit and see what she does. What do you think? That's a little more different than the other one. Is that a bubble? No, nope. we got a glob. Something. Not too many cells like I thought. This black don't cause a cell for some reason. I don't know what it is in that. That black just does not. But we got some pretty cool stuff going on there. Even leaving that in there actually worked out pretty good because the red somehow got up in the middle of it. Um, this is really neat. The thing is you guys can't really see on the cameras that we get to see is the depth of the colors. Um, cameras, I just noticed, do not do it. I don't care how many pictures you take, how good your camera is. You don't get that really good glitter effect, that depth and... Some of these looks like rivers of gold running through there. Same here. We got like rivers of gold running through that red. It's like a molten lava. <laughs> I mean, that is so amazing. Let me see if I can bring you guys down enough to get a little better. I know that's not bad. But. i just been wanting to do some different colors. I mean, I know a lot of my stuff. I mean, I did my purple one. I don't want to turn the phone that way. Yeah, I mean, there was my first red and black and gold one. I don't even know how I did it. Honestly, I do not. I did it, and I actually well, I have to watch my own video. But I got all these hung up. I mean, that's like my most colorful one. Of different colors, purple and yellow and orange. and I mean, we got a little bit of everything came in there. But it's sort of mudded out on the side there. As you see, we got some greens and some yucky colors. But it's funny how that yellow patch just popped in all by itself and there's no other yellow. Except for right there that popped out with the purple. Yeah. This one was one of my favorite ones. Um, I mean, I gave away a couple to my sisters. That purple one came out really good. That was my daughter's suggestion. And then my first black and gold one. That's the one I was trying to replicate to a bigger one. But I think I'm just going to have to do a pour with them. And then that one, it came out really good until I polyurethaned it. And you can see, yeah, see the lines in it? I took a brush and I thought it was going to work. Well, I learned you don't do that. And then my purple one. So, yeah, the colors need to get a little more. Oh, that's my body. Or my sunglasses. That's when he was two, I think. 
back. I want to say my video ended. My card froze up. But there's the rest of it. There's a good shot of it. So I'll show you guys where I end it. Like I said, there's some really cool stuff going on there in the gold. You got some rivers of gold. And I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can get how close I can get. Yeah, like I said, it's there's like those metallic little sparkles that that gold mixes in. And it does look really neat. I mean, I'll give it that. I think I'm going to call this one, since it's got the black spots on the red, Ladybug. Ladybug in a river of gold. Huh? I don't know. Or it'll just be red, black, and gold. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That's it. I'm sure it's going to change a little bit. From the, um... The end one, once we get done, once it dries, so I'm going to go let it dry, and we'll see what happens to it and how she comes out. There should be more than enough paint on there. It should not crack. I should not have no problems with that. Um, let's see what happens. Yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Hope your weather's better than mine. Mine's pretty crappy out. It's a little not sunny. Pretty gloomy. Snowing off and on. Yeah. Just looked out the window. Yeah, it's not pretty out. So, enjoy. Hope you guys are practicing them. Hope you're having more fun. Doing better than I am. I just need some more practice. Some more more practice makes it perfect, right? And yeah, I ain't trying to make them perfect. I'm just having fun. I'm just trying to get something out that people are going to like. I just got a Patreon. So, um, let you guys know. I did just sign up for Patreon. Um, I'm trying to put the link in the bottom of the descriptions. If you'd like to help me, that would help me get my paints, my glues, my stuff to help make the pores better. More paint, the more canvases. As you see, I'm about out of canvas. But I got plenty of plastic things and stuff that I'm going to do plenty of pores. I don't have to worry about that. But to put these up for sale, my thing about uh, Patreon is if you... Um, I don't even know how it works on Patreon, what they call it. Um... If you make the donation support, I guess, if you support my channel monthly, um, there's different tiers. And then you'll get your name either in the credits, you may get a picture, you get your choice of a picture, um, you get to name a picture. Um, but all that support goes to making these pictures happen so I can get these up like this. And if you'd like to see something you like, tell me, don't be afraid. I'd be more than glad to, throw, to put it together and make one for you guys and show you guys the colors. If you'd like to pick the colors out or just... Just throw some colors out, you know, pick some names or colors and and just put them in the comments and say you'd like to see this color or that color. I'd be more than glad to put them up for you guys and mix them and see what happens. Um, yeah, that's what I said with Patreon. So if you want, if you want to go to my Patreon, you want to be a, um, whatever you call it, supporter then you're more than glad to do that and support my channel and you can suggest anything by being a supporter you get to be part of the picture you get to be part of the description you get your name in the credits and you get to help decide what colors you can be or your name on the picture so it's up to you have fun with it hope you guys are having a great day hope everything's going good for you mine's going good it's getting better i cannot wait for spring that's my biggest thing when that sun comes back out and it warms back up, last week was really nice and this week's a little crappy. So, have a good one guys. Enjoy, keep warm. Smile. Be happy. Later. Peace.